Hello everybody, today in this video we are going to prove Stirling's approximation. Stirling's approximation is an approximation for the uh, factorial of n, and it states that as er, for a large n, n factorial is equal to the square root of 2 pi n times n over e to the n power. This is a pretty complicated formula, but in fact we can just prove this using the gamma function. So we know that the gamma uh, gamma of n plus 1 is equal to n factorial, and gamma of n plus 1 is equal to this integral. This is the definition of the gamma function. However, we can uh, rewrite the integral by using properties of e, and so we get e to the n ln x minus x. So we just use that x is equal to e to the ln x. So now um, we use the substitution that x is equal to n plus y. And we get the following integral. The integral from negative n to infinity um, and e to the n ln of n plus y minus n minus y. I mean, we just plug this in, change the bounds a little bit, and now um, by multiplicative properties of the exponential function, we can take this e to the negative n term, we can just factor that out of the integral. Similarly, we're going to factor in out of this natural log. Now how does that work? Well, we'll get n times 1 plus y over n inside of the natural log. And we know that when we take the natural log of a product, we get a sum. And then we have the n out front, so that will distribute. And so once we apply um, that factorization, we get e to the n ln n plus n times the natural log of n plus y minus y. Now we notice that we have another term that's completely in terms of like constants. So uh, e to the n ln n is actually equal to n to the n. And so we can bring that out of the integral and n to the n times e to the negative n is equal to n over e to the n. So we get n over e to the n times the integral, and then we just have e to this stuff. And uh, my apologies, I had n plus y written here. It's 1 plus y over n. So now we have this integral. And now we consider the power series expansion of the natural log of 1 plus u. And I'm not going to prove this, but this is equal to u minus u squared over 2 plus u cubed over 3 minus dot dot dot. So it's basically just u to the n over n alternating over positive integers n. And then if we let u equal y over n, we get we get this series. And then we can basically just plug this series in here. Um, and I'm aware there's some, you know, mathematical like reasons why there or there might be situations in where you, in which you can't do this, but um, it happens that it does check out for this. Um, that is beyond way beyond my scope of knowledge. Um, so substituting this, and also notice that. We have an, uh, we're multiplying by n this whole series, and so we get a term of y that cancels out with this negative y. So if you're confused why there's no linear term, that's why. So we get the following integral. Um, so we just have e to this series. And then we consider another substitution, which is y is equal to the square root of n times v. This substitution will give us a 
term of square root of n outside that'll bring outside of the integral and it will cancel out with like once we plug in this for each of these y's in the series uh, we'll get some cancellation namely this first term won't have any n's and all these terms will have n's and then our balance will change in summary we get the following integral and uh, just like I said there's the square root of n here the bounds change and this term does not have an n so this is what we've gotten in factorial to equal for pretty much any n and but now we want to see what happens as n factorial gets larger well ignoring this outside stuff which is all in terms of n we want to look at this integral well here one of our bounds is in terms of n and we see that negative square root of n that goes to negative infinity so we'll have a, a lower negative infinity bound and then all the all but the first term in this series will go to zero because each of them will have um, a term of n whether n to some power in their denominators and so the denominators will get arbitrarily huge meaning that each of these terms will go to zero and we'll just be left with the following integral and so disregarding all the constant stuff we get this integral and which is now independent of v I mean I mean independent of n and we see this highly resembles the Gaussian integral and if you do a little substitution you will get that this integral portion is equal to the square root of 2 pi. Uh, you just do the, I would do like t equals, or v is equal to the square root of 2 times t, and plugging that in, you would get, um, I, yeah, I, I believe you would get your result. And so we now have that as n factorial gets as n gets big, n factorial approaches this formula n over e to the n times square root of two pi n, which is exactly what we claimed up here. So this is Sterling's approximation for the factorial function, and I will. Uh, upload a video solving a problem which uses this approximation. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in that video.